Good morning everyone. We are going to perform front impact analysis in SOLIDWORKS. For this, we will open your chassis. In SOLIDWORKS, assign the material to it. So, this is our chassis which we have made in our SOLIDWORKS design. So, for performing the front impact, let us study what we have to perform. For this, suppose our chassis is like this. So, we have to fix all the front as well as the rear pickup point. So these are these this, and we are we have to apply a force of 4G in the forward direction. So a force of 4G for the in the forward direction. So we will cons we will perform all this analysis in this solid work. For this, open your SOLIDWORKS chassis and then go to simulation and study advisory. Open new study advisory, name it as front impact and from the type choose static one. Click OK. So as we all see that here the purple color shows the all the joints in your chassis when you have assigned the weldment. So what we have to do, we have to apply a force of 4G on the front nodes and fix all the front as well as the rear pickup points. So for this we go to SOLIDWORKS, we go to fixtures and fix geometry. In fix geometry we have to fix the front pickup points so if we go into the side view of our chassis these are the front upper pickup points and front lower pickup points similarly in the case of rear side lower pickup points upper pickup points and similarly on the other side of the chassis also we will fix all the pickup points for the suspension similarly in the front side also so we have fixed all the pickup points now we have to apply a load of 4g in the foreign direction so how we are going to calculate a force of 4g so right click a force now how we are going to perform a force of 4G? Let us assume that the mass of the vehicle is 350 kg. So 1G is coming out to be 350 cross 10. It's coming out to be 3500 Newton. For in front impact, we have considered a force of 4G. It's coming out to be 1400, 14000 Newton. Since this 14000 Newton force is distributed on 4 nodes, we will divide this 14000 by 4 and we are getting 35 Newton on each node. So we have we go into the SOLIDWORKS force type select the point on which we are going to apply. So if we see that these are the front four nodes from where from where we are going to apply the force. So this one select it this this and this and then we have to choose the direction so that direction line is something like uh, this here this is line we have to remove it we'll consider this as element in this direction and a force of around 3500 newton but we have to reverse its direction so for that we will reverse its direction by clicking on it. So now you are seeing that the arrow is pointing inward if you see it. Now click OK. So we have performed the necessity condition for analysis. Then we right click on mesh and create mesh of the whole chassis. And it was saying it was using this much of the memory from a CPU. And as you all see that, 
the meshing of each and every element is done according to the mesh condition which we have applied now for getting the results we'll right click on it and run the results So here is the result what you are showing. As you all see that the chassis is most deformed in the forward direction. It is because the deformation scale is very high. To change this deformation scale, we go to deformation results. Right click on it and get edit definition. On edit definition, here the automatic is this. We change it to for example 100 the true scale is coming out to be so this is your chassis on which you have performed the color graph shows all your analysis and then similarly you can view the uh, displacement graph also during impact here again the deformation scale is very high you can change it by edit definition go to user define hit 100 and here so how the definition changed so in analysis you see that this red section here you can also edit this one here change it from scientific to floating up to two decimal and this much since the whole chassis is made in mm so as you can see that the deformation is less than 1 mm it's 0 0.09 so very minute deformation you can see in your chassis and similarly you can animate these results by clicking animate button and how the chassis will deflect when the force is applied so that's all for front impact thank you very much